and the greatest preachers and teachers, none other than Elder Griffin from Buffalo, New York. Let's be seated in my saying, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Y'all will be better than that. Praise the Lord. Let us say praise the Lord. Let us say praise the Lord. In Ephesians chapter 4 is where I'm taking my subject and we'll go back to the scriptures. Brother Paul wrote to the church in Ephesus and he said, I therefore, 
a prisoner of the Lord. He said, I beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called. He went on to say, with all loneliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love. And verse 3 is this verse I'd like for you to take with you. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Let us say amen. amen. Bishop Hill, before he went to be with the Lord, me and him often talked about long suffering. And as I talked with him, the understanding began to open up. Because we made so many mistakes. All he could do was suffer along with us. And he did. Now the mistakes come from our own selves. Our own way of thinking and doing things. Listen, he says in chapter 2. He says, and you have been quickened who were dead in trespasses and sin. That was our past life. That's what we all come from. And if you're not careful, that past life will creep into your present life. And if it creeps into your present life, your present life will not be the life that Jesus gave to us. Because he gave us a life of holiness and sanctification. We could not have life without the Lord Jesus Christ. For God gave him the power to have life within himself. And when we repent and go down in the water in Jesus' name, and the Lord fills up, up with the Holy Ghost, we receive of that life. Somebody ought to say amen. He said, well, in time past. Uh, you got to kind of remember this now. Uh, because we're not in that time past. But if you're back there in that time past, you got a problem. Lord. You got a serious situation that you need to deal with. He said, well, in time past, you walk according to the course of this world. Is that right? He said, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. You said, what you talking about, Brother Paul? Thank you, Jesus. Uh, there was a time that we did things that we did not understand. We walked a certain way. We walked according to our flesh and not to the knowledge of Christ. But when Jesus, when we met Jesus, uh, the Son, he set us free. For whom the Son set free. He's free indeed. He's free indeed. Amen. So Brother Paul is taking the church in the Ephesus back a little bit. He wants to remind them what they were and show them what they truly are. He goes on and says, among whom also ye, we all, we all, not just some of us, we all had our conversation in the time past, in the lust of the flesh, of fulfilling, he said, the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. Terrible condition. Bad place to be. Unacceptable to the Lord God. Now I wonder sometimes since COVID happened, what happened? Um, I have you looked around after COVID and wondered what has happened? What happened to the joy of the Lord that was in my heart? For the joy of the Lord is my strength. What happened, hallelujah, to my shout and my praise? I love it when Bishop said, you don't like going in no dead place. Thank you, Jesus. The only dead place we should be in is at the funeral home. Somebody ought to say amen. amen. But in the house of the Lord, where there is liberty, we ought to be free to praise the Lord. We ought to be free to hug 
love one another, to greet one another, to kiss one another, to laugh with one another in the house of the Lord. That's what makes us so different in that world. Yes, sir. You know, you know, we were going to continue as the world is. We may as well have stayed out there in the world. Amen. Right. Amen. But the Lord brought us out. And he brought us into a marvelous light. Thank you, Jesus. And he said, Jesus said to his disciples, because he knew he was going away. And he said to them, now ye are the light of the world. When that light goes out, you begin to behave as if you're in darkness. But at the same time, trying to confess, I, I know the light. I'm in the light. I'm part of the light. But my actions say, I'm in darkness yet still. Listen to what he says. We all had our conversation in time past in the lust of the flesh. Fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind. Let me tell you something. When you mad at me, you fulfilling the desires of your flesh. You see, we choose to be mad at one another. You know that? It's a choice. It's a conscious choice to not get along with the bishop or obey what he tells me to do. I make a choice. I have choice. I have free will. And God gave that to me. Adam and Eve had it. And they made their choice. And look what it did for the human family. Thank you, Jesus. We've been struggling with that choice ever since. Aren't we? Amen. But hallelujah, Adam, he sold the human family into sin. But God sent Jesus. Is that right, God? Uh, hallelujah. In the fullness of time. Is that true, God? Uh, uh, to deliver us. Thank you, Jesus. And when Jesus delivers you, you don't need to be delivered again. There's power in the blood. There's power in the blood. There's cleansing power in the blood. And that blood purchased me. It bought your soul. It bought it. And so you don't belong to yourself any longer. You belong to the Lord. So if you belong to the Lord, act like you belong to Him. Walk like Him. Talk like Him. Sing like Him. Shout like Him. Oh yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He said, let me say, tell you this, tell you this about us humans. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Sometimes our bridges are too big. Thank you, Jesus. Oh yes. Sometimes we just get beside ourselves. Sometimes we start to thinking we somebody. Thank you, Lord. But we ain't nobody. Thank you, Lord. What you are, the Lord made you. And he didn't have to do it. He didn't have to do it. But he did. That's his goodness, his grace, and his mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I say, Lord, don't let my head get so big that I can't look up. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen, I'm not chewing on you. All I'm doing is making you realize what's in the scripture. Because this is what the Lord gave me. Thank you, Lord. Um, thank you, Jesus. So he went on to say, thank you, Jesus. Um, he said, but God, but God, you need God, I need God. All of us need God. Because without God, we would have been lost. Is that right? Not would have been lost, we were lost. Thank you, Jesus. But God, who is rich in mercy. That's the one thing I found out. That it seems like it's difficult for us to share one with another. That is mercy. Thank you, Lord. The songwriter said, please, 
have mercy on me. God ain't true with me yet. Uh, I need mercy and patience. I need love and kindness. I need long suffering and tender heartedness. Thank you, Lord. I, I love that preacher back there. Thank you, Jesus. Every time I see him, thank you, Lord. Uh, he hugs me. Thank you, Lord. He touches me on my coat. Uh, he said, praise the Lord, Elder. He said, and he smiles at me. Thank you, Jesus. You know, sometimes that's all it takes uh, is for you to smile at me uh, and my heart begin to rejoice. Uh, thank you, Jesus. But if I look on your face, uh, on your continents, uh, I said, oh, Lord, have mercy. I turn and go the other way. I don't know. I said, Lord, fix it. Whatever it is. And if I did something, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Because I got the love of God in my heart. Thank you, Jesus. If I stepped out of your shoe, I'm sorry. Thank you, Lord. And if that ain't good enough, I'll take them home and shine them for you. Oh, glory to God. Oh, yes. We got to move beyond ourselves, saints. Thank you, Jesus. We, you know, the Lord is trying to take us to glory. Thank you, Lord. And there is no foolishness going on up there. Because those angels that started that foolishness, they ain't up there no more. Thank you, Lord. He put them all out of there. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, they're down there in a pit somewhere. And they're bound. Thank you, Jesus. And the Lord put an angel over them. I was telling the saints at dinner time. He put an angel over those angels in that pit. And his name is a bad. Because he's a bad. Thank you, Jesus. The devil can't even mess with him. Thank you, Jesus. And you don't want to go there where he did that. Is that right? But listen, God is rich in mercy. For his great love wherewith he loved us. He said, even But Paul has this knack or this gift of being able to be in the present and take you back to the past. All at the same time. To make you realize just what you're standing on. To make you understand, hallelujah, the precariousness of your situation. So he goes on and says, uh, he said, even when we were dead in sins, have we quickened us together with Christ. Then he made it play. A scripture that we memorize. We commit it to memory, but then we forget it in action and in life. He said, for by grace are you saved. So if grace did it, that tells me I had nothing to do with it. I had nothing to put in it. I had nothing to give the Lord. That would make me worthy of his grace. But sometimes we are so unforgiving. Yes. Glory. Glory. And it loose people for the little transgressor. Jesus oh. said, for business, they shall be many. Yes. But what you going to do with it? You going to let them go? Loose them? And let them go. Are you going to hold them to it? And yoke your own self. With their sin. How wise is, is that? Take it Jesus. Uh, Jesus said the children of this world. They are wiser. Than the children of light. But wisdom. Is known of the children. Y'all know that? All that means is. Those that have wisdom. Know how to use it. And they apply it to themselves first. Every time I look in the mirror, I say, it's me. It's me. It's me. It's me, me oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. I bless God for Buffalo. 
I bless God for the saints in Buffalo. I bless God. I've never seen such a sweet, sweet people. Forgiving, loving, tender hearted. All the fruit of the Spirit is manifest in me. They may come work easy. Oh, yes, they do. Oh, yes. They take away that heavy lifting. Because dealing with sin is heavy lifting. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Cut grass is easy. The grass don't rock your back. It don't say nothing. Thank you, Jesus. Paint the wall. The wall say thank you. Because it's got a coat of paint on it. Hallelujah. Yes, it don't argue that. But sin. Thank you, Lord. But the writer said, would you be free from the burden of sin? Do you realize that most of the people that's outside the church or left the church, they left the church because of, they say somebody inside the church did something to them. Stop hurting people. Don't say I didn't do it. It wasn't me. Stop hurting folk. Love them. God gave commandment to Israel. And Jesus picked it up. Two of the greatest commandments in that book. The number one commandment is to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. With all thy soul, with all thy strength, with all thy mind, and love thy neighbor. That's us. Thank you, Jesus. He said, on this, on this, they all the law and the prophets. That's the word. Amen. You are good. Because Brother Paul picked that thing up. Amen. Did he do it? Yes. Now y'all gave me a chance to preach. This is all right. Here. Thank you, Lord. I ain't trying to hurt nobody's feelings. Thank you, Jesus. Because I'm going to tell you about me when people are preaching, I, I'm the first there trying to get everything they say. Because I say, the Lord must be trying to tell me something. Thank you, Jesus. He must be trying to tell me. I ain't quite there yet. And you ain't all that. <laughs> yes, I know the Lord. And he's on my side. Thank you, Lord. Brother Paul, keep this thing up. Thanks. And I know y'all love it. Thank you, Lord. And, and, and the, the goodness of the Lord is he gave us teachers. Yes. Men who has in their lives. Yes. Worked hard year after year. Nobody gave them that position of what they have. Thank you, Lord. The Lord blessed them and brought them up and put them there. Thank you, Jesus. And for that, we ought to honor that. Somebody say amen. Amen. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Because he didn't have to do that. He could have left us with men that have a reputation according to Timothy. Bad, bad, bad. Thank you, Lord. But Brother Paul said, though I speak, 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 is this something we all do? Though I speak, though I speak, with the tongues of what? Uh, with who? Of amen and angels, and have not charity. I am become as. Sounding brass and tinkling cymbals. Preachers work with you on that in the Bible study. Because the Lord just said to me, go to, go to James. Thank you, Lord. Y'all know what James said? Huh? Thank you, Lord. Do you? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. James, hallelujah. He knows we speak. We spoke, right? Thank you, Lord. He said, hallelujah. He said, men, my brethren, be not many masters. He said, knowing that we shall receive the greater 
condemnation. God, yes, Thank you, Lord. The Lord from the promise speaks softly to my people. Thank you, Lord. See, you can preach the word and just preach the truth. God's word. Not your word. And get all mad with folk and, and, and beating them up and all that stuff. Don't do that. Thank you, Lord. Don't y'all know God's word has more power than your word ever will for your condemnation will? Because if they have the Holy Ghost, that word right there has the power to convict. Thank you, Jesus. It'll put you in jail. Hallelujah. Why he touch you? Thank you, Lord. It'll take your salvation. Oh, Lord. He'll take your joy. You ain't got to do it. Y'all with me tonight? Yeah. Every little day. Every day. I love you. I love my brothers, my fathers. I love my sisters and brothers. I love these young people. They coming up sweet. Thank you, Lord. I'm serious. They're coming up sweet. And I love it. They hug you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Ask you if you're all right. Thank you, Jesus. Say, can I carry this for you? I said, Lord, thank you, Lord. You're so good. Because if not, we can know. Thank you, Jesus. We can't run as fast as we used to. Help yourself. Thank you, Lord. And if you keep living, the Lord carry you, you're going to slow down too. That's a fact of life. Thank you, Lord. I'm getting here. I went to visit mother. My mother is 98 years old. Lives in her house. Can get up, go down the street, walk back. Thank you, Lord. I said, Mom, we we'll come over and take you out to dinner, to lunch, eat lunch. Thank you, Lord. And then my wife came in the door the next day. Thank you, Jesus. She said, What y'all sit down for? We get ready to go out to lunch. Hallelujah. I thought she was kind of just saying that. Thank you, Lord. She was ready to go. Thank you, Lord. Got her coat, and we hit the door. Thank you, Jesus. And I said, thank you, Jesus. She said, I tell the Lord all the time. Thank you, Lord, because she knows the Lord did it. She knows she's not living on her own street. And she said, and me, that's what she called me. She said, I ain't got no pain. Well, I tell her, my response back to her is about Moses. Joshua and Caleb. Did the Lord promise that? Uh, but he said, if you honor your mother and father, your days will be what? Long upon the earth. But the Lord gave Joshua, Moses, and Caleb some strength. Is that right? That they could live how many years? Anybody know? 120 years. And it's possible. Is that right? Because the Lord established that in Genesis chapter 6. Amen? Even though we quote what David said. Now y'all looking at me on the street. What did David say? But now I know that he said that. Come on. But he counted the years that he said we could live. Is that right? Three score and ten. And by reason of strength. Ten more. How many years is that? That's eighty years. That's what he thought. That ain't what God said and established. You go to the Genesis is where God established man years. And do you know anybody that made it past it? No. Take it, Jesus, and they ain't gonna make it past it. When God sets a boundary, the boundary is set, saints, and it applies to us. He set boundaries for us. As saints. So Isaiah said, Come and let us do what? Reason together. We got to get ourselves together. Yes. Jesus is coming back. Yes. And we must be ready. So, Brother Paul wrote in James, he said, um, He said, Listen, for in many things we offend all. And if any man offend not in word, the same is a perfect man and able also to bridle the whole body. He went on to say, 
Behold, we put bits in the horses' mouths that they may obey us and we turn about their whole body. Behold also, he said, ships, which though they be so great, he said, are driven of fierce winds, yet are they turned about with very small hand, whithersoever the governor listeth. And he says, this is the verse. If you forgot where it was, take note. Remember this verse. There was a comedian the brother, the brother that's uh, along with me, they know his name was called Flip Wilson. <laughs> Flip, yeah, Flip Wilson, you ever heard of him? Yes. Flip Wilson used to play a character not so good what he was doing, but the world laughed at him. He made money. Anyway, he would say, loose lips. Do what? See ships. Loose lips sinks ships. You don't have to repeat everything somebody tells you. Well, you don't have to do that. Bishop Betty said, "You ain't gonna make my head." No, God is king. Is that right? Come on, verse 6. He said, the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members that it defileth the whole body and set it on fire the course of nature. And it is set on fire of hell. Y'all got it? Yes. I just wanted to leave that thought with you. But this Bible is speaking to us yes. about holiness. Yes. Being sanctified. Those aren't just words. It's what the Lord did for us. Because we were in the world. But God had a desire. Is that right? Thank you, Jesus. And he said it into the prophet Job. In the last days, he would pour out his spirit upon all flesh. But he can't pour it into an unclean vessel. Thank you, Lord. So before he poured his Holy Ghost into us, he had to cleanse us. Thank you, Lord. And so we repent, go down in the water in Jesus' name, and our sins are washed away. Is that right? And the Lord knows if your heart is repentant and he fills you up with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Now we are meek for the Master's use. We are sanctified. And we got to stay sanctified. And if we become defiled, he said the flesh of God. He is faithful yes, and just Glory. to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Right. Why are they getting along like we should? I'm serious. This breaks my heart. Been over here too long. Trying to make heaven my home. And not over here for foolishness. Not over here to play around with my soul. My soul is too valuable to be played with. I have an expectation of the men that lead us. And I have an expectation of my brothers and my sisters.
even we, when we were dead in sin, have quickened us. Oh, hallelujah. You've been quickened. Oh, yes, I see some quickened saints this evening. Thank you, Lord. You've been quickened with the Holy Ghost. He has quickened us. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lord. He has quickened us together with Christ. Let me say this about my Lord Jesus. The writer said, He who knew no sin, He was made sin. Jesus said, No man take my life. I lay it down. God gave him the power to lay it down and to pick it up again. And God so loved the world. Yes. Is that true? Yes. Aren't you glad God loved this world? Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. He gave us His only begotten Son. There had never been another human in the world that God took to Himself. And the promise is to David, the man after God's own heart. And God told David, I'm going to take your seed. Uh, while you're dead, long gone, buried uh, in the sepulchres with your fathers. Uh, and I'm going to raise him up, David. Uh, I'm going to sit him on your throne. He said, I'm going to be his father. He's going to be my son. Thank you, Jesus. And if he commit any iniquity, I will chase him here with the rod of me. Y'all see that? Yes. So while he was on Calvary's cross, from the sixth to the ninth hour, before he got there, in Pilate's judgment hall, they took a whip and they beat him. Yes. They tore open his flesh. The psalmist said, they piled up on my back. Take it, Jesus. And why would he go through that? What love, what love, what love. Glory, hallelujah. Aren't you glad God so loved the world? Thank you, Lord. You see, it's that love that we must manifest to our neighbors, to those that are on the outside. But don't forget to love those that's on the inside. Thank you, Jesus. All right? We must love one another, saints. Thank you, Lord. Uh, I told the saints in Buffalo that we go through our struggles. Thank you, Jesus. We were preaching about faith. And I said to them, prayer is the what? Key. And faith does what? Unlock the door. So we pray and ask God that His will be done in us as it is in heaven. Thank you, Lord. Not our will. Not my will. Not their will. But thy will be done. Don't you want God's will done in your life? Submit yourself. One. To another. Love one another. Endeavor. 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 Endeavor means to work. The big tall basketball player told his son that wanted to be a pro like his dad. Uh, what's the tall one in California? Brother LeBron James. He told his boy, thank you, Lord. Now, LeBron gave him his DNA and all that. All right, but he cannot give him the skill to play right. that game. Right. He said, You got to put the work in. Right. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. That's what Brother Paul is telling us in the church. Endeavor, put the work in. To keep the what? Unity. 
Y'all want to get the devil out of here? Let's be unified. Yes, sir. Every church. Every church. From the top to the bottom. And obey them that have rule over you. But they're doing the watchful for your soul. Thank you, Lord. You only kill the man that's watching for your soul, do you? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We need them. Everything that's in the body, God placed it as it pleased Him. And it, he, we need it. So work, put the work in, saints. Put the work in. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Endeavor to keep the unity of the Spirit uh, in the bond of peace. If you don't understand that, that means have peace among yourself. We should be able to sit down, talk to one another, drink a cup of coffee, and tea. How are you feeling? I'm all right. How are you doing? Not too good. But the Lord is good. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Peace. If peace should be anywhere, it should be in the house of the Lord. The songwriter said, when peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea builds road, whatever, whatever my life, thou hast taught me to say, come on, say, it is, it is.
Praise the Lord. You must come in at the door. Is that the scripture? Yes, and Jesus said, I am the door. Well, Praise the Lord. Not Muhammad, not Buddha. Well, Praise the Lord. Not your mother, not your father. Praise the Lord. But he said, I am the door of the sheep. And if any man come in this door, praise the Lord, you're going to find pasture for your soul. And if you want to know the way, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come to the Father except they come by me. And as somebody said, the door of the church is still open. Praise the Lord. But you got to make up in your mind to get it before it's too late. Nobody know the day or the hour when the Son of Man come. Praise the Lord. So while you have breath, as the Word of God said, in the day that you hear His voice, harden not your heart. So God is still reaching out for those that want to be saved, those that want to be delivered from sin. Praise the Lord. And remember this, Jesus said, if you don't believe I am He, you're going to keep living and die in your sins. But if you believe that he's the one that God sent to redeem the human family, amen, this is your opportunity to come to God through Jesus Christ. We have closed. We have someone to baptize you in Jesus' name. For there is none other name given among men under heaven whereby we must be saved. Praise the Lord. There is only one name that can forgive your sins. And that is the name of Jesus. Is there one tonight that want to be saved? Is there one that want to be delivered from sin? This is your opportunity, amen, to respond unto the water call. Is there one that wants salvation? Is there one? Is there one? If not, we're going to leave you as the preachers would say, in the hands of a just God. But remember, if you wake up tomorrow, you still have an opportunity, amen, to make your calling and election sure. God bless you. Take the words that was preached tonight and go home and think about it. And God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.